Hey, I'm back again for a third time. I'm getting a bit confident with these now. i moved on to my Game Boy Pocket. Found it in the loft. Lovely oddity. Got this on a car boot for a pound. So, <laughs> for another five pounds, I got a backlight. And I'm going to see if I can make a really cool six pound Game Boy. How's that? So, uh, start off. Screws it up. Before I forget, the ribbon cable here does need removing. Two little tabs. You just uh, obviously probably should have done this before you unscrewed the PCB. Would make life easier. Let's get something in there to pull it out. Uh, you'll do. There we go. There it comes. That's much better than the original. They're on the right track, aren't they? Well, we know where they went, so it's definitely on the right track. Uh, out with the buttons. Now that's stuck down to the case. You can either twist the case to get it out, like you, I don't know, I like try and get your ice cubes out or something. But what I'm going to try and do is lift it out. I've seen other people lift it on the underside there. So I'm going to find something just to wedge under it. Let's see if we can't get it out. I knew I had one. I knew I had one. So here we go. Let's try and lift him out. I'm pretty sure I'll be needing you in position at the end to stick my screen back in. So I shouldn't have done that. Might have just scratched the inside of my Game Boy. Nah. Well, I think I put one in it. Damn you, Spudger. You just saved me on one bit and you screwed me on the other. Right. So the next bit's the apparently the trickiest bit. You've got four foam pads. They need to go. And they've got a tiny bit of tape holding this ribbon cable down. That's got to go. Uh, and then we can start peeling the ribbon. Right, so I ended up peeling it off, off screen because I kept looking the camera over and got very sweary. So I peeled it off. Uh, it's a, I just hope I haven't destroyed the ribbon cable. As you can see, there's plenty of little streaks in there uh, of adhesive that are still left. So I'm gonna get a quick wipe down of an alcohol pad. See if we can't get that away. Because the last thing you wanna do uh, is, is see that streakiness once you put it all back together and your backlight's in. So I'll just try and get it all off. Right, so just got to get the polarizer in. Skipped a bit, sorry. I... <laughs> Peeling the polarizer was really, really annoying. So I did that uh, old way. Sorry. Get the pad in for the backlight. Pretty sure it will slide straight in. Just make sure you light and the polarizing film dead center on the screen. Like that. With that being that, we can just give the screen a quick wipe down for any fingerprints on the outer case. Yep, pop him down, we're going to drop the screen in. Like so. The case of the Game Boy itself helps you line up the polarising film and all the components. So it should just drop back in. As you can see, my polariser is a picking out. So my screen won't fit in. Those trembling hands don't make it easy. Oh, look at that, lovely. So we're in. Turn it over and make sure 
that we've got the polarizer in the correct way. I really don't know which way it goes in. Should we have a black screen? Should we not? Should we spin it round and see? I mean, if I if I turn it on, um, damn, I must have it the right way because we've done the same thing to my DMG. And the screen looks black instead of transparent. So that's the way forward. That's what we do. Cool. Right. So next we're going to need to feed the wires delicately around the inside of the case. Because of how close to these ribbon cable pops up here, I might just put a little bit of insulating tape over it. Uh, just in case it touches the main PCB and put it back together. So we drop in back in. Drop just back in there. Somehow. Hmm. We've got to find a nice way of feeding these cables through then. So that we can drop that on there. Why don't I just, for a split second, tuck them into the headphone jack. I'll drop that back in. Feed them around the side. Beautiful. So it's going to pop a, one or two screws back in to hold it in place. You don't want a circuit board wibbly wobbling around on you when you're trying to solder some pads on. Okay, so this is the bit I'm no good at. Are you ready for this? We need to put the negative lead, which in my case is the red one, onto point four, just below this. So this is where I am very amateurish. And make so many elementary mistakes. There we go. So he's on point four. Let's feed that up through there for a second. And your positive needs to go just there at the top. Just get a bit more solder on. This one's the difficult one. Beautiful, right. That went better than expected, guys. Honestly, it's not the greatest job. But they're on. And that's all that matters at the minute. So all I need to do now is get the rest of the screws in. Which I'm not going to bother with at the minute, I need to test it first. So to feed the ribbon cable back in, loosely pop the back case on, pop some batteries in, and see if we've had a success or a failure. I've read that a lot of people tend to damage these screens when doing the mod because they're a bit more delicate than their other Game Boy cousins. to there, not the greatest place, but we just want to get a case on, fire it up, so let's just drop one of the dry wings back in near the battery compartment, and screw it up with the screwdriver that I have lost, is it rolled off the bench, desk, aha, it is, it's on the floor, back, 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 ah, there we go, so just pop one in, you don't have to do this, I um, want to make sure I'm not going for one of the wires actually. No, that's fine. No miles away. No miles away. Go 
and just enough to hold two batteries which had ran away over here. Let's test out a game I got off eBay today. And we have nothing. Okay, so it turns out the problem was that I followed the instructions to the letter. I got everything right. And then I, I tried everything and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to spot the wires. What's the worst that can happen? And it turns out that the labelling on my screen was incorrect. So, funny enough, I can whack some batteries in. Battery number two. The backlight comes to life. Amazing, isn't it? So I just need to peel the, peel the films off, get it back in the front, which means we can dismantle the overlock. I don't know which the front of the light would be. Is there a film to peel off? Everybody seems to peel the film off. Yes, there we go. Pop you guys out again. Screws, what are they? I can hold it together with a cartridge. And my power button is in wrong. So it's just switched on. But we have a backlight. We have a backlight. As with the other backlights I've had, there's a little bit of moisture behind the screen. Uh, I will unzip this at a later point. And if you slide a bit of greaseproof paper through the film between the light and the front panel, it gets rid of that. I don't know if it's some sort of oil or a byproduct of the manufacturer, but you can get rid of that. But what a result! I've turned a one-pound car boot Game Boy into a six-pound backlit car boot Game Boy. How's that? Not bad at all. So I'm going to get enjoy a bit of Star Wars. Hmm, we seem to have a bit of a problem here, don't we? Okay, so it turns out the reason the picture was the wrong way around was because you can flip the polarizing filter over. One side displaying the negative image, and one side displaying the true image, which I didn't know. But now, it's finished. Let me just turn some lights off. I mean, the contrast's not that bad. I don't know whether these are worth diverting. Um, it's much darker compared to the, the DMG screen. So they are Game Boy number four. Just to prove that anyone can do it. I've never done anything like this before. And I've managed to do four. So, get on eBay, find some of that eBay junk, get fixing.
you might impress yourself, uh, as I have done here. I think I'm onto a new hobby. So I've got a screen coming for an EOG Pocket Color in a couple of weeks. That's going to be the next one on the list. So I'll see you then.